sound innocent enough, but there is a dire warning attached to it. If you find a mushroom in the wild, Sonoma County health officials are saying your best bet is to completely stay away from it. They say that is because someone died over the weekend from mushroom poisoning. Statewide, there were 35 cases of wild mushroom poisoning reported between November 18th and January 4th. Three people died. Three others needed liver transplants. Officials say the cold and wet weather sparked a bloom in wild mushrooms in Northern California, and there are a lot of people foraging for them. Now, experts are asking people to wait to positively identify any mushrooms before they go to eat them. Andrea Nakano talked to an expert about the dangers of amateur foraging. David Campbell is a mycologist. Learning mushrooms is a lifetime path. For roughly five decades, he studied all kinds of mushrooms. I was basically originally just fascinated by their most perfect weirdness. Just kind of reeled me in. I had to kind of wanted to know more about them. With his experience, Campbell says he's confident about picking mushrooms that are safe to eat, but he worries about newcomers that are wanting to take advantage of an abundance of fungi. I'm of the opinion this recent rash of poisonings we've had has been spurred by the recent use of the online information. And I think we have a whole new wave of people that have a undeserved sense of confidence in their knowledge. Sonoma County issued an advisory warning people to not eat wild mushrooms after the death of a local man over the weekend. The county's health officer says that case is one of 35 mushroom poisonings in the state between now and last November. Three have resulted in deaths and three more have needed liver transplants. Typically, the state sees about five cases a year. Campbell discourages anyone that hasn't put in their work from picking mushrooms. It takes a village. If you want to learn mushrooms, you should get involved with people that know mushrooms, along with all the other resources, books and online. He does add the best place to start is to learn about sponge mushrooms, but to stay clear of any gilled ones. Then in time, people may develop the expertise they need to pick a safe mushrooms. Until you have a certain level of sophistication in your knowledge, you're not capable of interpreting the information sufficiently to keep out of trouble. And keeping out of trouble is everything.